up y'all we're up here for a killer shed weekend hopefully a little backcountry hunt uh two days gonna be a hell of hiking but we're getting in figured i'd show you what we're dealing with got across this big old creek it's a gnarly rock terrain but we're gonna get after her. i'll let you know when we're back there and getting ready to hike in all right guys made it to the truck man there's landing <laughs> man. all right so we're headed in it's like what time is it 6 um, 6 15 6 30 6 30 we got 45 minutes of daylight i don't even know if we're gonna make it back <laughs> back there before dark but we're slip backpacking so wake up bright and early and hopefully hammer the sheds so we'll cook some dinner so stay tuned for that some good night some bedtime stories <laughs> all right stay tuned Buddy missed, I think. People tracks. Not good, guys. Hopefully, they're staying right here in the, this section and not going back where we are. We're kind of going on some slivers, like skinny pieces of public to get back to like some bigger fingers. And they're pretty, like four or five miles back. So I don't think people are going back there. We hope. But right now, I'm not liking it. Not liking it. Dude, there they are. Oh my god, there's a long beard. That is sweet. Oh, oh, oh! Dude, they're all chilly. Look at the long beard. Oh my, that's so cool. Alright, guys. Made it to the sleeping spot. It's gonna, definitely gonna be the weirdest sleep of our lives. <laughs> the flattest ground in the middle of a field. But, that away is freaking money tomorrow so we hope so we're gonna get oh you probably can't see me you're probably, probably blinding you <laughs> but we're gonna cook dinner and then watch the stars and maybe some netflix you know vibe out enjoy nature sleep tight and we'll wake you up in the morning but straight up dinner number one dinner number two mm -hmm. morning Worst night of sleep. I only got about two hours. So, good energy for today. But the sun's coming up. You didn't see that. It's really warm. <laughs> it's really warm. <laughs> but, we're gonna get after him. Heck yeah. We're walking in. Starting the morning off. Uh, I think I might have one over there. But I can't tell because my binos are freaking eye slayers on the lenses. So I have to wait till the sun comes up. So until then, using the legs and getting after. A little update, um, walking maybe a mile in. But this terrain is freaking, it's wicked. It's nice, it's gorgeous. I haven't glossed to see any sheds, but glossed up a shed bowl, big body bowl. Both sides gone, two miles away. He's on private, but gives us hope the amount of elk sign and deer sign in this spot oh it's insane like there's a lot of them so i have really high hopes for today and tomorrow so we're gonna keep keep moving along looks like uh landon is on the board he's got two i told him to hold up so i'm walking to him i can't i can't seem to find nothing I'm really taking my time. He's way ahead of me. Um, then, yeah. Kind of getting my butt smacked. Freaking smacked on. But it's so sad. I ain't find no shares this year, man. Pressing. I mean, that mountain of elk sign and deer sign is wicked. And I just am striking out. I really hope once we get to this good stuff, the sage up here, I have to pick up at least one. That's all my goal is for the weekend, one. And so far, I am getting let down. But I'll show you all these sheds. I'm sure you took a video, but 
I'll be there in like 10 minutes, I'd say. Holy freaking weekend saver. <laughs> Still early. It's so early. It's like 10 15. But just glass and oak shed. <sighs> so we're gonna get up to her. Thank goodness, man. I'm getting nervous because we're getting close to the end of this finger. Probably another two miles or so and we're have to turn around, so. First shed, 2022. A six point. Front drops down, droop, drooper. Heck yeah, dude. Hopefully this weekend picks up now. Hashtag sick find. But he's staying. Midday check-in. Running times down now, by the way. I don't know, dude. There's so much sign in here, but I think it's at, it's all like a couple weeks old. I mean, there's some pressure sign, obviously, but I think these bulls, or the elk in general, have moved back into the trees, or up against the trees. Um, and I just don't think there's, there's a lot of food down here. There's so many dead things. I think things just are, animals cannot survive down here as well as they can up there. I mean, there's lots of water. There's also water up there. They don't really need to come this low because the snow doesn't get too deep over here. So my thoughts are they're shedding up higher. So we might, I haven't seen Landon in forever. So when I see him, I think we're gonna make a new, or we have to make a new game plan because otherwise this weekend, it's gonna be a solo single elk shed weekend. Can't complain, but Still disappointing. There's two separate ones, two people at least, and a dog. Which makes me wonder, walking in, there was a foot, two sets, foot, boot tracks, and a dog. So, what I'm thinking is they came in before us. And I don't think this place ever gets hit, really. Except, of course, the year we want to come. Because, I mean, to get back to where I was, I was like six miles from the only access to get in. So, virtually, we got to get out of here and find something else to do because we got beat. Uh, we may try to go look for that. Shed bowl I glassed up way the uh, way down yonder, whatever. May try to look for his stuff if we can. Might be off private, might be on private, whatever. <sighs> Discouraging man. Depressing. Shed hunting's getting way too popular. And these spots are freaking cleaned. Picked freaking bone dry. Update. Um so the game plan is the same as it's been, except we're going today. We're making that long three mile stretch across the flats um, to the other finger of state to see what will happen so we can get away from the dang people. So stay tuned. The fuck? It might not even be his other side. All I had to do was walk about two more feet. So I'm sitting down right here. Two more feet, he says, oh, a set. Finally got my second antler of the day, you asked of. It's been a freaking while. We're at like 13, 14 miles on the day right now. Horrible ratio, but we're gonna, I think I'm gonna keep glassing for right now. We'll go get her soon. Freaking ancient. Probably was a half decent buck at one point, but that's my first mule shot of the year. Oh dang. Holy crap. I am in chalk freaking city. Worthless. Oh boy. I don't know. I'm finding them though, so that's cool. I definitely ain't coming back to this spot, so 
we don't know what we're doing tomorrow, but for now we got like an hour, not even an hour of daylight. Or actually we do that. Yeah, you guys keep watching, I might pick up some more. Seems like freaking older sheds than me, so I don't know. Maybe we'll stumble upon something freaking rad and get the hype just going, you know? We'll see. Another freaking ancient do. Oh, there goes the vinyls. I, I just uh, glass landed. He has two what looks like gorgeous six points on his back. They look like they got color too. So we'll check that out when we meet up later. But heck yeah, good thing he's doing well. Because I am <laughs> I'm pooping the bed right now. Finally, walking up on a freaking good answer. <laughs> Still ancient. Ancient little two. Oh my gosh, dude. Vinyl's followed about every time I lean over. There she is. Um, I think that's five on my back. It's getting dark, so I'm really just kind of heading towards the truck. Um, and yeah, so we should be landing in like 20 minutes. Wow. Bam, baby. Oh. Point. Ancient. Oh, right on. Another one. Holy crap, that thing is old. Good genetics, honestly. There we go, number seven. Yeah, those bad boys are. That's his two stack set. And there's my freaking pile. Yeah. Now we gotta walk home. Our Back to camp. We got about four miles and this is not gonna be fun. Heck yeah. Dude, yeah. We're walking back. We're almost, we've been walking in the dark for like, what, two, uh, one and a half hours? Freaking found a spike in the dark. <laughs> Hashtag set. <laughs> All right guys, check out my dinner. It's honestly probably the best thing I know for these meals. For every young mac and cheese. Try her out. Morning. So virtually we ended with like a 20, I ended with 22.3 miles yesterday. Landon ended with like 26, 27. He walked a lot more, I glassed a lot. But freaking killer, my legs are broken, my feet are broken, it's horrible. <laughs> but I mean, it was an okay day. Um, there's my pack. I think I ended with nine, one, two elk sheds, well, an elk shed and an elk spike, and then seven mealy sheds. And landed and ended with two, uh, that side by side elk set, three mealy sheds, and then some broken off elk stuff. So, decent weekend. I think we did like 18 in total. Not, nothing like what it should be for the amount of miles we put in, but that's all right. Learned not to really come back here again. I mean, maybe the first finger, like get here earlier so we don't get beat, but yeah. Otherwise, pretty decent weekend. I think we're gonna go scout some more spots out. I don't know if we're gonna hike today. The legs don't feel like moving, so. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. It's pretty slow. Oh well. Um, thanks for watching, subscribe, whatever. Do your thing. Have a good one.